Today's lesson is on sea turtles, and we're going to be doing some bubble printing and, and sponge printing, and then we're also going to be printing with cardboard. The first thing we're going to do is get a base coat down on our background, and what we do for that is we paint the entire page, and I give my kids paper that has a frame on it, but you want to get the entire page painted with a very light value color. Now you could do a gradation of color going from darks to lights like this student did here. This is a first grade student, six years old. They have a dark area, actually some lights and then it, it, just another value of purple. So you could do multiple colors or you could just do one color. And we do it just very quickly. This is not, uh, the background isn't as important as the stuff we're gonna put in it. Cause you can see here on this example, most of the painting is gonna be covered up with the coral, uh, the, the coral down at the bottom. And then we, we're gonna be doing some, um, actually this is representing some soft sponges because the sea turtles uh, one of the species loves to eat sponges in the ocean so we're going to be making him in a bed of sponges um, so basically just use some large brushes and do washes of color and I have my students go horizontally long strokes horizontally just to lay down that color and this is tempera paint that's been thinned down a little bit with water and you can even change the color and I'm just going right back over this and we don't even wash brushes in between colors because it's all the same color family just to get a nice even coverage you don't want any bubbles and I'm going to be going very fast for this uh, example so you're not watching me forever painting uh, but there's our base coat in the background. Now the next step is to go ahead and sponge in your beautiful coral rock at the bottom. Here's an example here. You can have it just come across the bottom of the page, or if you want to make a little bit of a mountain of coral, that's up to you how you design your coral. And I use a variety of sponges, some kitchen sponges, or you can also use um, a, loofah, a loofah sponge. Um, and what we do is we dip it into paint, trays of paint, and I'll show you the two varieties. I just, I just squirt a little bit of paint in the bottom of a tray, and then I lightly dab in to the paint here. Dab into the tray. You don't want it real thick. You want just a light coating on here. So I dab off to the side just to remove any extras and then lightly press down your sponge. You want to be able to see the airy, the airy spots in between the holes of the loofah. Um, and so you want some of that texture. This is going to create some beautiful, beautiful texture here. And then you can also use what I give the kids is just a rounded kitchen sponge as well. And that just gives different texture, but I kind of like the airiness of this, the holes in it. Um, so once you've got, got your base down of your coral, now we're going to be working up some of the sponges. And here's an example of how the sponges grow. This is just some soft finger sponges here. And uh, they grow up in branching systems and they form the almost like a Y or a V shape as they branch off. So we're going to be creating this, and we want it to flow from one area, and we want it to branch out so that the entire top part of the page is covered. So I start off, and what we're going to be doing is we're, we use just pieces of cardboard that have been cut, and we use one of the edges. When I have the kids use these, I... I have them every few classes I give fresh pieces to. Um, but you want to have it so that it's pretty thin down here. Um, sometimes when they when you push too hard, um, it'll open up. Actually, see how this one's opening up? Um, that's going to give you a really fat line. Actually, I like this line better because I get a little bit of the texture of the cardboard. And these are just about an inch wide. You can make them larger if you'd like, depending on how big you want it. And I, we, what we do is we just dip into the tray of paint. And I spread out a little bit of paint on here. And I use dark values for this so that this shows up. And you just basically press. And you want to connect uh, 
you know, you don't want to press it like this where there's a gap. You want to make sure that they actually touch each other. And you want a V out. So I'm going to form a V or this forms like a letter Y. And I want to use up all of this paper. I want to be able to have my design come throughout the whole paper. So I'm going to come down off of here and print. And I'm going to go very fast for this and then branch out. And you want to fill this top area with lots of beautiful branches and designs because this area will end up showing the parts on the edge. We're gonna be covering the middle part with a turtle, but you want this area to be nice and neat. So you wanna take your time, make some branching, and the branches grow up toward the light, toward the surface of the ocean. So you don't want your branches going down, for example, this way. And this whole thing would then be printed, 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 and filled in like this. So it fills up the whole top area. Now I'm not gonna fill in mine here. The next step what we do is we do some bubble printing. And what I do is I hand the kids a cutout turtle that I used. I punched this out from a an AccuCut shape, and I purchased the Jumbo AccuCut shapes. Uh, if you don't have a AccuCut pr punch, you can always draw your own turtle and then cut your turtle out. And then what we do is we go ahead, and I'll just turn this over as my scrap paper. We go ahead and we bubble wrap print the heads and the flippers, all of the, the legs. And what I do is I have the kids just take a brush and brush right over very lightly the bubbles of the bubble, bubble wrap. And then, you don't want it too thick, and then we just print the head, and that makes a great contrasting color here, the little flippers, Get that one. And then what we're gonna be doing is on the inside, we're gonna be doing some gadget printing. And if you wanna do some hand painting, you can as well. So what I do is I give the kids a variety of found gadgets and things. This is a little cup from Dunkin' Donuts. And what we do is we just simply dip into our colors. And this one actually gives me two shapes. It's the smaller on this side and the larger here. So this will give some circles. I, I kind of like the circle shape here. And so we gadget print the shell of the turtle in some interesting patterns. And what I did for this one, I'll show you over here. And then they can even, you can even do your hand painting, some hand painting if you'd like, just to add some really interest to the shell and just enjoy the, the process of this. Um, what I've done over here is, after I kind of textured this with some gadgets and some sponges, I did a loofah, I think it was on here. Then what I did was I did the cardboard into some geometric shapes, more cardboard printing here to make it geometric. And I kind of liked that idea. And then I traced around the edge with cardboard. So if you wanna go back to your cardboard even, you can do more cardboard printing, and this prints nice lines. It's a great way to do the lines on the turtle, especially if this is done, if you're doing it with young kids, because sometimes young kids have trouble drawing or painting lines, real thin lines, and by printing them with the cardboard, you get some nice, beautiful, skinny lines. Once you've decorated your turtle shell, it's, you basically just go ahead and glue it on to, remember this needs to be finished, you glue it on to your finished um, ocean pitcher and there you have your under the sea turtle. And this one, since I did it in green, this is the green sea turtle and one of his main staples of food is the sponges. And by him interacting and eating the sponges, it helps protect the coral because if we didn't uh, if he didn't eat the sponges then the coral reefs would be overgrown with sponges and then of course the coral would die so he does an important thing in the ocean and 
uh, it's kind of a fun painting to do. So I hope you enjoy creating your sea turtle in the sponges. Let me know in the comments how your picture came out or if you have any other gadgets or fun ideas for printing as well to share and I will be happy to use them with my students.